is up fam hope you're having a great day today welcome to my life movie i got some footage of something in my garage that i thought was very unexplainable i'm gonna share that footage with you right now and we're gonna get into something else so enjoy just came in here a second ago my camera that's right there was catching what I thought was that cord around maybe like moving back and forth I thought maybe some of it would be on the floor I thought maybe it was like a bag here I mean something I I really don't know what was moving back and forth in my garage right now Wow yeah, I, I thought it was this, like something like this. And you can see this is too tall. All right, fam, so after investigating this a little bit more, I think I know what that was. Not 100% sure, but I can't see it being anything else. All right, so this is a palmetto bug. It's not a cockroach. Is he alive? Yeah, oh yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was those <laughs> antennas that we were seeing right there we should hear like can we whoa i gotcha i gotcha come on let's go say hi to tiffany <laughs> go wash my hands now i have no idea where he went by the way okay just wanted to share that with you Okay, not gonna lie, I really thought at first that we were onto something. I got this cord around wood, and that's what you've seen there in the corner. I thought that was moving back and forth at first, and I mean, for several minutes, I could not really put my finger on what was happening until I seen, you know, of course, the palmetto bug. Let me know what you guys call them. We call them palmetto bugs here in Florida. Where Tiffany's from in Virginia, they call them water bugs. When I was a kid, I thought they were cockroaches, but my God, Elon Musk, chill out. When I was a kid, I thought that they were cockroaches, but they're not. I think they're in the same family, but they don't, they don't multiply like cockroaches. They fly, actually. Now, I'm at the airport. I'm waiting for my friend, Mo Sarji, who is flying in from Canada. I haven't seen Mo... I'm sorry to say it's probably been close to two years. It doesn't mean that, I mean, we talk just about every single day. I, like I was thinking about it today. I'm like, when was the last time I seen Mo? Let me know here in the comments if you can remember the very last video I posted on this channel that included my friend Mo in it. You're gonna have to do this really quick, but the first comment that I see, I'm gonna pin to the top of this video. Now me and my friend Mo always have something planned when he comes down. I know he's going on a little bit of a road trip in the US. He, he told me that things have been pretty weird in Canada. I'll just say that. We'll have to ask him in a second. Can't wait to see him, man. I'm gonna give him the biggest hug ever. It's been so long. Just made a huge mistake right now and accidentally, I mean, not huge, but I accidentally exited the airport when Mo told me that he was landing and he had to wait an additional 15 minutes because I was on the interstate. But anyways, glad he's here safe. Sure beats driving. Don't hit a cone. See, they will not let you stop. You have to keep going. You can't just wait for your friend. Mo! Momar! What's up, man? Bro, I bro. Bro, you know it's been like almost two years. Good to see you, bro. And he 
shows up. Hey, he smells good. Oh, thanks. This guy smells good. Hey, you want to put it in the trunk? Mine's Your pick. And my seat, it fits in the back. It just gets hot back here. Oh, I know. Look, it's hot. Okay, there were no restaurants open for Mo, mm. but are, are you not allowed to have Taco Bell right now over there either? No, you can have like drive-through restaurants. You, okay. You just can't sit in a restaurant. Oh, you can't sit in a restaurant. No. Okay. And you can't buy clothes, socks, underwear, nothing. <laughs> Wait, what? You can't buy socks? You can't buy clothes. If you want, if you want to buy clothes, you gotta buy it online. Right. If you go to Walmart, you can buy a garden hose, but you can't buy the gun for the garden hose because it's illegal. I'm not joking. The gun for the water you hose? Know, like if, if you want a, a, little... like a, a water hose and you want the gun to walk. Why is that illegal? Because it's in the aisle where apparently you can catch cone if you're in the aisle. <laughs> you can catch, what? It's dumb, bro. You go to the baby section to buy baby clothes. So the baby clothes are on the right. They're all taped off, but the baby toys on the left are not taped off. You can buy those, but you can't buy baby clothes. It's crazy. So Mo was doing some illegal stuff. He told me the other day he bought some baby clothes. We sneak? Yeah, we, <laughs> yo, bro. I'm a baby clothes smuggler now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say anything, but hey, if you're in Canada and you want to buy some baby clothes, what you got to do is go to the self checkout. Okay, this is how this is most secret. You got to secretly just you know, dude, that's still it's still scannable at Walmart. So, Look oh that. no, I'm always gonna go back and you're gonna have more arson. <laughs> I'm gonna take Mo to the clown cottage in a little bit too. He's gonna make a video there, so there it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be awesome. Hopefully, wait. the clowns aren't gonna bother you because they, they haven't had anybody harass. The last couple of days. Not gonna lie, the only one that's kind of like stressing me out is that big one that you have over the bed. Yeah. Angela sent me a video of that when he went there. I'm like, mm, I might have to move that. <laughs> Wait, I forgot. You are kind of scared of clowns. Kind of. Oh. A little bit. Here. All these signs right here. See that that one right there says. That one is creepy, dude. Evil clowns ahead. All right. I don't think I'm mentally prepared for this. <laughs> Grab this dead body that Mo has in here. Oh gosh. <laughs> Whoa. What the hell? Holy shit, that's a lot of clowns. Did you turn that light on? This one? Oh, you did, okay. Yeah, I just did. All right, I thought I turned on by itself oh, or something. I, oh my god, okay, that one's gotta go. <laughs> that one, okay, that one can stay. That one's definitely gotta go. What the hell is that thing, dude? His name is Screw. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Holy moly. It's got a bunch of screws. Dude, See that? Yeah. Bullshitting me. This place is actually all full of clowns. Look at this. Now, I've seen in, in some videos, like the one in the bedroom, and like that one, I don't know if I'd be able to sleep, but that one right above me in the bedroom. Oh, you'll be fine. <laughs> I did have somebody, uh, it was, they're called the South Cacks, and they have a YouTube channel. They were sleeping on the bed, and that big clown fell right on top of them oh, in the middle of the night. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Hopefully that don't happen to you. This is good enough for you. I can just sleep right here on this couch. <laughs> yeah, this is a comfortable couch. Oh my god, dude, this is crazy. And at least I'm gonna get a good thumbnail out of this vlog. Oh yeah, tons of good thumbnails. <laughs> Let's see what else there is. This, yeah, this place is smells so clean, guys. You guys can rent this place too if you wanted to. I'm sure Omar's got an Airbnb. I'm actually somewhere. getting ready to, I, I don't know, I'm on the fence with keeping it as a rental. It's uh, probably gonna be my office. I'm gonna make this like a, just a quiet place for me to come edit videos. Is there a light here? Anywhere? Maybe film. Some videos here and there. Yeah, there's some light, you know. Uh, I forgot where it is at. Right here. Oh, it's so nice and cold. Damn. Yeah, there you go. Whoa, look at all these clowns. This yeah, is like one of those so like, abandoned houses I go into and I find a collection of like clowns and dolls everywhere. This clown's haunted. And there's a story you can read like to Ooh. to your fans we'll see and stuff. That for tomorrow's vlog. Yeah. Guys, come on, this is Cliffbait City. Let's go. <laughs> is that Ronald McDonald up there? Oh my god. Got Ronald. Oh, what the hell is that thing? Look there? at that guy. Oh, that one's creepy. Okay. Okay, that one. I was thinking about putting him outside your window. <laughs> Get out of here, man. You got Ronald McDonald. There's so many clowns in here. Where the There's heck a lot. Where are these clowns from? Remember we stayed at the clown motel? I never went to it. Hey. I wasn't there. You didn't go to the clown? Wait. No, I've never been to the one in Tonopah. You've never been I've to the clown? I've never been to the clown motel. I, Wait. You, I, you went with CJ, I think, or James or someone. I don't know why. I feel like you've gone with me. No, it was James. It never, was James. Never in my life have I been to the clown motel. Like, well, that I'll one. tell you what. I, I'm not trying to trash talk the clown motel. Clown motel is a really cool place. Yeah. It's scary. It's right by a cemetery. Mm -hmm. It's super cold. 
Like, it's in the middle of the desert, but yeah. it's so cold. Yeah. But this place is better. I mean... This place is better. From what I've seen so far, it looks good. I like it. If you want to go somewhere and experience clowns... What's that noise? What is that? Um, I think it's a bug. Is that, that's a bug? Yeah. Why is it so loud? Because <laughs> we're in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta share this nice wait, weather wait, with wait, bugs. Seriously? Or is it raining? I don't know. What is that? <laughs> I don't think that's a bug, bro. <laughs> Maybe it is raining. Is it raining? <laughs> nope. Oh, what the hell is that? Alright, there's a strange noise in here. What is that noise? It sounds like it would be air conditioning, but it's not. I don't know where it's coming from. Like you can't really pinpoint it. Okay, that's. It's like a crazy. static noise. Yeah. All right. This is it's like a. I've ne I've been in here so many times. I've never heard that noise before. I thought it was a cricket, well, but not until we. With me, so yo, Tom, my boy, coming to a clown cottage. All right. So we got more areas over here. Oh my god. Where do you even find stuff like this? Bruh, I, everywhere. What? I got that on Amazon. Even mm -hmm. while you're taking a poop, a clown can watch you poop. Yeah. Dude, this place is really clean, dog. I gotta hand it to you. Thanks. Mint condition. You know who keeps it clean? Tiffany. My lady. She's yeah. a professional. Tiffany, you do a good job. <laughs> I like clean places. There's sometimes I'll go like in, into like a place, like one of our Airbnbs, and I'm like, oh, it's so clean. They left it so clean. Whoa. And uh, she'll be like, oh, no, look, look at this hair. <laughs> she'll find hair on the floor. Yeah, Shadia's the same way. Shadia's 100% the same way. Hey, listen. That's not as creepy as I thought it would be. This looks like a really cozy room. Like, like I will actually pass out in this room. The bed is really comfortable. Oh, yeah. Built on dead bodies. Let's go. <laughs> oh, look. Check it out, man. I got a pot in here. I got a fan in there. Nice. It's pretty cold man. in here. I feel like this guy's got, like, a, a mirror in the closet somewhere. It's just going to prank me somehow. Wait a minute. Did somebody leave this? No, no, I think we got this in the mail. Yeah, every time I look, you know, people that stay here, they leave clowns. Really? Yeah, it's pretty cool. That's kind of cool thing to do, actually. We it's definitely neat. have a lot more clowns. There's a cot there too. Hey, who wrote who wrote this demonic clown terror? Who put all this here? <laughs> Oh man! So did somebody draw that? Or did you guys draw that? No. Oh, uh, I had a. Wait, wait! It's a noise again. That sounds like frogs. That's rain. Oh, okay. That's that... rain. Yeah, I guess it is raining. Yeah, but it didn't. It didn't look like it was raining. No, it didn't. Not at all. You know what it was? It was probably raining on one side and not raining on in the front. I don't know. You scared? A little bit. If I show up to your actual house later on tonight, you know why. All right. So <laughs> I'm gonna weird. I'm gonna leave Mo alone. Oh my god. Just you and the clowns. He's gonna experience them for. No, we're gonna talk to. Don't mess with me at night. Like seriously. No, I. Get, bro, I get some good night's sleep. Don't no, mess I, with I, me, I live. I live like half hour from here. Like yeah, you're yeah, not yeah. gonna see me. So. Oh man. Do you have a gun in here or anything? I can even no, protect myself. No. <laughs> I, I got a bat. And there are some knives in the drawer. Okay. Good, 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 good. But you know what's cool is the clowns will protect you. Protected by the clowns. You're protected by the clowns, yeah. <laughs> if this goes off at night, well, then... No. If it has got... You could put no. it on a... Uh, it has a motion sensor where you walk by it, it'll go off. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. I'm not going to set that off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shout out to him, man. This is freaking awesome. So cool. Thanks, man. I'm glad you like it. All right, fam, so we're going to check back with Mo in the morning and see how his experience at the Clown Cottage was. So let's get into the morning. All right, fam, so I didn't spend the night with Mo last night. I know it may seem that way because I didn't really. I mean, he did. He cuddled. I, He's lying. OK, we cuddled, cuddled in the middle of that. No, I'm back. It's morning time. He said he slept like a baby. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a good comfortable bed, bro. It's comfy, right? Yeah. Every, everybody loves that bed. Also, I think it's because my daughter isn't punching me throughout the night. <laughs> Probably why I got a good night's sleep. She punches you throughout the yeah, night? Yeah, because when she sleeps like between Shadi and I, she's always like, eh, eh, wake up and play. <laughs> hey, that's a fancy watch you got there. Oh, thanks. It was a, a birthday gift from Shadi. 
Hey, that that's definitely a shiny uh, look. She right loves there. anything shinier. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Mo's showing me his GoPro right now. I'll show you my GoPro if you show me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so check this out. So, um, hold on, let me uh, switch it to video mode. That's so cool. So this lens that's on the GoPro, you can move it like upside down and everything and it stays it stays in place. This GoPro acts up sometimes, not gonna lie. Did you experience anything weird? I heard like footsteps at 4 a.m. I was telling this to my vlog when I woke up. There was like somebody walking around here, but I was so tired and I didn't give a crap about anything. I just continued to see. Footsteps? <laughs> yeah, it was a, it was raining like crazy. Like it was really loud, but uh, it's not like somebody was walking throughout this place. You have to do a spirit box in here. Like we get the craziest responses. I got something for you. Hey, what is that? So this thing, you turn it on uh -huh. and when it calibrates, if something interferes with a signal, it's gonna tell you. It's really cool. Why wow, this thing takes forever. Is that like a ghost finder? Yeah. Oh, kind of. Like you ask questions, yes and no questions. Um, so right now, obviously, like if something interfered it, oh, it's still calibrating. Let's give it okay. a What is that called? Honestly, I don't know. There we go. So if something interferes with it, it's gonna let you know. Okay. It's kind of like one of those um, circular, I forgot the name of them. The pucks? Yeah, uh, rim pod. Rim pod. Rim pod, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's called a, a prism something. Hmm. That's weird. Looks like Simon Says Game. I've done a couple vlogs here, but I have never done an official like ghost hunting video here at the Clown Cottage. I've had a lot of paranormal investigators stay here. Some saying that it was haunted. Some saying that they didn't have any evidence. There was some that stayed here that caught this on camera moving. Tiffany was a witness to this. I wasn't here. But we, she was talking to somebody staying here, and it was like a Coke bottle or something. Oh, it was on the table. It was a and it two just, liter. A two liter. Yeah, it was sitting. It was sitting like they were packing up, ready to leave, and it was sitting in the middle of the table. Boston was sitting over here. We're all standing here talking. Next thing you know, it just goes flew. So he was like, okay. So he picks it up and put it on the chair, and then we're going back to talk it, and it just fell off the chair. Oh, wow. So then he picks it up there, and then I was like, maybe you just need to go put that in your car. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, a lot of different things have happened here. So. I don't know. Maybe I'll do something. I know Mo's gonna do it. His friend Angelo did did a video here. Did he? Yeah, he did it well, like, right. he like a week ago. Right. Two on. So you're gonna see him. Look, right now up. I'm shaking it. The screen. You see it, the yeah. screen's not moving. Watch this. We're turning completely upside down. Bro, that's insane. Technology. Okay, now we're gonna review it. Hopefully, I didn't mess up on that. One. That is insane. And oh, you could be on one hell of a ride and mm -hmm. you could be running and it won't even look like you're running. It. I was shaking it this time. Watch us returning completely. Returning? It, it didn't oh, turn. That's insane. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Isn't Dude, that, that's crazy. He was literally crazy. going like this. Yeah. That's And it wow. turned it completely like this and it, oh man, technology. Oh, wow. So you want to go eat something? I want to go sit in a restaurant. Let's go sit in a restaurant. I got a perfect breakfast place for you. I, I feel like I just came out of prison. Hey, let's go to a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Mo's kind of geeking out right now. He's about to cry. I'm literally about to cry right now. <laughs> it's been like, what, six months since we've been in a restaurant like this? Yeah. Hey, babe. I'm, a, I'm about to cry. Look where I am. Wait, hey, Omar wants to say hi. Hey, Shadia. We're going to have some breakfast for you. Where's the baby? Let's see the baby. There she is. Hey, Rania. <laughs> Here's my breakfast. There's Tiff's breakfast. And here's Mo Sarji's breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> and what's crazy is, um, as soon as I take one bite of these tacos, Mo's gonna be completely done. Uh, look, watch. So I'm gonna give you a bite first. Okay, here we go. Look, he's already done with his food. Look at that. <laughs> He would have ate that too, but I don't like that. Yeah, he didn't like it. Yeah, it was like weird. But that was a really good salmon egg thing, whatever I ate. You want a bite? No. <laughs> no. Oh, it was good, man. Thanks for bringing me here. Yeah, no problem. It was really yummy. He's gonna do a little shopping here in a second. Wow, it's hot. You get this kind of heat in Ottawa right now? It's really hot there right, right now. Yeah. Really? It's probably like like this right now. That's what Shadi is telling me. Oh wow. So I'm gonna take him to get a rental car. I got a couple things to do at the house. I am getting ready to put my house up for sale. I know I've mentioned that a couple of times. And yeah, 
we got the photographer coming i believe in like the next day or so tiff wants me out of her hair she's like you need to go so i can like clean this house up i i'm probably distracting her i don't know but I'm making messes. That's what it's pro the, the problem is. The sexiness distracts her, okay? It's it could be that, she but she sees him looking all yummy and shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, the problem is when I when I start doing the painting and stuff like that, like I have tools and stuff in the way, and she doesn't like that too much. But uh, we're gonna wrap things up a little bit, and we're going on a road trip, Mo and I. It's gonna be cool. We're about to take you guys somewhere really cool. Remember that right there? Oh, that's it. Who remembers? The wedding dress house. That's it right there. Oh man, I would love to go do a video there again. That place was so haunted. It was so cool. We spent the entire night there. Yeah, that was like one of our first haunted videos ever. Yeah. Together. Years yeah. and years ago. <laughs> so it was like maybe a couple months ago I, I went, you know, to the person that owns it. Because they do weddings and stuff here and um supposedly somebody set up some candles in there when they were filming and the lady freaked out because it's it's such a historic home yeah if it you catches know, fire that's not that not thing catches fire. fire and it's done and ever since then like she won't let anybody film there anymore so uh, which is why we sucks. can't do a part two in this place no but we are taking you guys somewhere really extra special yes this is really cool where i'm gonna take mo i've been wanting to wait is it blocked off no it's no not it's, an, off. it's it's not abandoned anymore no so half of it is still abandoned and I'm not sure what they're gonna do there but this is the old hillside estates it's been abandoned for years it's like an old ghost town dude we found like so many rituals on the other side like yeah satanic rituals and it's still way. there like there's a, a ritual that was in there it was, was one of these buildings Whoa. there was blood in there it was one of those um I don't know upside down stars I think it was in this building right here I love coming back here but check this out Holy in the main part there's like kids walking around now like this is no longer abandoned all the houses are painted we, we slept in one of the yeah. houses up there the abandoned house oh my god they painted them look how nice they look this used to be an abandoned town and now it's all painted and people are looking at us weird here probably because you have yeah. a really shiny red car <laughs> oh. hi <laughs> look at this this is so cool i remember us just walking through here with night vision playing hide and seek remember that <laughs> holy moly we had so much fun back here but i mean honestly it's it's nice because every time i would come here i would feel kind of sad like because like man all these nice houses and they were in great condition they just needed some paint and they and did cl and cleaning it. like i don't even think they replaced the roof so you can see the, the roof looks still wow but yeah they just went in there and remodeled some of these and look how pretty they look it's the old ghost town wow there's people living in them now oh remember in here yeah this was this is where we'd always park our car yeah we'd so park we'd our avoid car. security <laughs> <laughs> and we'd hide out here oh my god as if somebody's so many people are living here yeah so are these like were these made into like government housings type things or are no. they actually just people that no, bought houses? i think people actually rent these now or may maybe they are I know that that's what they were before, but they were all the same color too. None of them were painted. They were no. all white. Kind of reminds me of the Edward Scissorhands neighborhood. Look at that little kitty. <laughs> you know that was filmed not far from here too. Wish I had my uh, my drone with me. Actually, no, I left it back at the, at the house. But uh, I would have flown the drone to see uh, how this place looks after it got renovated. I have some drone shots of this place abandoned. And it, yeah, it so was, do I. So it was really I have cool. it abandoned too. I'll probably come back here sometime during the week and get some drone shots of it. It's nice though. It's nice like just seeing it now come to life. Because this is what it looked like back in the day when it wasn't abandoned. I mean like all of this was abandoned before. Except they weren't painted back then. They, they just had all were one color. It was yeah, it was color. all white. It was like a prison. Whoa. Exciting new amenities this, coming soon. This is the one that was... Oh, okay, yeah. I remember that one. That one. Yeah. The one that we slept in was like way up there. I think I slept in a couple different ones. Yeah, this is so cool. <laughs> I'm actually getting like kind of. You don't have to like pretend buy these. You can actually buy them. Yeah, I don't have to like do curbside pickup or any of that shit. The simplest freedoms are like, you don't understand. People don't realize 
what freedom is until they lose a bit of it. You know what I mean? Like, and look, they have fitting rooms. Yeah, you can try stuff on too. Cause like when they opened up a little bit with us, you still weren't allowed to try some things on. Really? Yeah. All right. I like so we're at, we're at Dick's Sporting Goods and man, dude, that's awesome. I'm gonna need to get one of these for my non-muscle body. So your boy Omar, I put on about five pounds, uh, maybe more. I don't know if, I, I have mentioned it in a live stream, maybe another video, but I was doing pull-ups, which I'm really good at doing pull-ups. Always done pull-ups. And I didn't know this, but supposedly you can pull a muscle doing a pull-up. That's what happened to me. I pulled a forearm muscle, and that was back in February. And ever since then, I haven't really been working out. It's starting to feel a little bit better, but it's not 100%, and I don't want to make it worse. So... I don't know. I am under the supervision of a doctor and did some x-rays and stuff. I was really digging that shirt right up there until I looked at the price of, uh, what is it? Yeah, $45. I will take a white t-shirt and cut it just like that myself. It's like 50 Canadian. Dang. Yeah. Okay, we, we know why it's so expensive. It's <laughs> the Rocks brand. brand. Didn't know that. I thought it was like, Tennessee <laughs> you know college team so Mo asked who in the heck has a size 15 foot or who wears size 15 shoes I was like I do so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put my size 15 shoe on here it is right here Ugh. all right there we go two of your feet goes in that thing <laughs> bro <laughs> look, look, at, look at the difference between your other shoe put yeah. it side by side like Oh like, my god. I wear a ten and a half, so that's <laughs> whoa. <laughs> that's a shock. I think Shaq's like size 20 or something like that. I almost did not say goodbye to you in this vlog. I didn't get to do it on the last vlog and I'm upset. I'm sorry I had a lot of you saying, Omar, how come you didn't say gimme kiss at the end? I This is what happened, okay? The last video, you know, about you know, was talking about the signs and I had like the underwater thing and it was really cool, but I was using a GoPro. I'm using a, a newer GoPro now, but my old GoPro that I decided would be cool to go underwater ended up breaking on me. And when that happened, also I had a 360 camera that was also getting water like inside of the case. So yeah, I wasn't able to do an outro. So yeah, it's four in the morning. I think it's later actually. Yeah, four. 52 yeah in the morning and I'm still awake about to go to sleep right now I've been doing a lot of renovations in my house when I was done I decided to edit a video too um, yeah I usually don't stay up this late definitely past my bedtime go ahead and let you go hopefully I will see you soon maybe tomorrow I don't know we'll find out love you before you leave though give me a kiss peace